Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd talk you through how I paint my nails with shellac gel nail polish. It's something I have been doing for absolutely years. Yeah, it's one of those things that I like to treat myself to, paint my nails. Funnily enough, this is a bit ironic that I'm filming this today because I don't have them <laughs> done today. I've literally just got clear nail polish on at the moment, kind of give my nails a bit of a break and um, I kind of just like not having much on them at the moment. But anyway, usually, <laughs> usually I love doing shellac nails. Because I've been doing it for years, I thought I'd just give you a few hints and tips and talk through how I do them. So the first thing you have to do is just kind of give your nails a little bit of a trim, which I've done before removing my nail polish. Just any residue that's left on from old polish, I'm just getting rid of. So now I'm going on with the base coat. Now I purchased Blue Sky polish from Amazon and I know when I originally started doing them I used to get CND polish and that's a little bit more expensive apparently better quality but I have found no difference in using the blue sky polishes at all so I have lots of different shades in this I've got the top and the base coat and that's what I tend to use. So I'll pop a little link in the description box of the products that I will be using today. So when you're painting on, just make sure that you get just the nail bed and you stay away from the cuticle because if you do overlap on the cuticle, it's going to just make, cause a gap in between the seal. So it's just not going to last as long. What you also want to try and do is wrap it around the nail base this sounds strange but if you try and just make sure that you put the varnish just slightly over the tip and that's supposed to kind of seal it to make it last longer as well this light system I got from Amazon again they're about 15 pound or something and I have had this one for years I think I've only ever owned two in my life and yeah as I say I have been doing these for years you can get replacement bulbs if they go um I don't know what it was about yeah why I ended up buying a whole new system the first time round. um but yeah you can just get replacement bulbs and it should last you forever really they're super cheap they're just used to cure the nail varnish so this shellac isn't like normal nail polish where it'll just dry in the air naturally you need to put it under uv light and that's what cures it so you need to set your timer on your device for two minutes this one has a nice little timer it just you just press the button for two minutes and click on and it does the job for you and the lights come on and you just need to make sure that you spread your fingertips out so that all of your nails are facing upwards so today i'm just using a quite a natural shade again i'll pop the link in the description to this exact shade if i can find it i've had this one for ages and i really like using this one because it's just a really natural color and I think pretty much it would suit everyone and go with any colours that you fancy wearing with it. So yeah, if you're wearing certain clothes, it just kind of tends to go with everything. Because the problem is if you choose a colour, you're stuck with it in a way for a couple of weeks, two or three weeks. So if you choose a bright red, then, you know, just think about the fact that you're going to have to match your clothes to your nails for those two weeks. So I like using the natural ones because it means I can just wear anything. I find the polish so much easier to use and so much easier to work with than using normal nail polish because when you use normal one, you put a stroke on and another stroke and then sometimes it kind of starts drying immediately and yeah, you can risk you can risk it kind of going bumpy and not smooth. Whereas this stuff, because it doesn't dry until it's cured under the UV lamp, you can just work with it a little bit better and get it to kind of spread evenly before you put it under the lamp. I find it so much easier. And then just pop it under the lamp for two minutes again. Sometimes I do both hands at the same time and then sometimes I just do one whole hand and then the other whole hand. I like to stick something on in the background. Today I was just watching something on my iMac whilst I was filming this and doing my nails um, just to kind of sit through those two minutes of having your hand stuck under the lamp. I decided to go with a little bit of glitter on these ones today. I wanted to keep it quite simple. I just thought I'd spread a little bit of glitter on those two and then cure them. I was improvising a little bit here. I know you can get special tools to um, do nail art and things, but I decided to use a plastic fork that I found I had in my house. I thought the very tips of the fork things would be really good for 
just getting <laughs> little dots that I wanted to do on my nails. So I got black polish and popped these little dots on my nails, just on those couple of nails again. Now I accidentally did make a mistake. I forgot to cure the glitter layer before putting on the black. So the black kind of smudged into it and didn't come out as precise as I wanted those black dots to come out. But never mind. I was trying to film at the same time, so <laughs> it didn't really go to plan. And now you finish it with a nice top coat and pop that under for another two minutes. Mix it nice and shiny and seals it all together. Getting rid of the residue after you've finished all of the colour, because there's like a sticky residue left after you've cured it under the lamp, so you have to you have to do this step, you can't miss it. But you're supposed to buy some sort of special alcohol alcohol solution to get rid of this. But I read once online ages ago that you could use antibacterial stuff because it's got it's like 99% alcohol or something. So yeah, it does the job perfectly. So yeah <laughs> i just use that and it's really cheap well it was before a pandemic happened and everybody needed to buy this stuff to survive so yeah maybe buy the proper stuff now but i just happen to have this because that's what i've always used for doing my nails and it used to be really accessible and really cheap and yeah it was a good little substitute but maybe at a later date because we kind of need this stuff now for <laughs> more serious issues i might i might purchase the um pop stuff for it and that's it they're all done so today i only did one coat of the actual color whereas i think with most polishes usually you do two you'd want to do two to get kind of solid color but today i just kind of wanted them to look as natural as possible apart from the glitter and the black dots obviously i just wanted the actual color to look really really natural so i only did one layer i quite like it doing that sometimes you could experiment with other colors and see whether just one coat would do but i think most people tend to do two coats possibly even three but i find that it can really thicken um it really thickens up and i just don't like them looking too thick so I just wanted to do that one coat today. I thought I'd show you a few examples of ones that I've done in the past <laughs> throughout the years. I just had a flick through my Instagram and found a few different shots of other colours that I'd done on my nails just to show you some examples. Oh, my tea's going cold now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. A um, little bit different for my decorating videos, but I decorate my nails. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I don't know what is coming next, to be honest. It's been very difficult to get back to back into the swing of things after coming off furlough and yeah, just kind of find a balance again because I did so many videos whilst I was at home loads and now I've just got to find a little bit more time to kind of squeeze the filming in. But I absolutely love it and thank you so much for sticking around and subscribing and I will see you next time. Bye. Cheers. Cheers.